What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again and today we are on with the My Protein range. I know it's taken a long time, it wasn't, it's not, it hasn't been great I'll be honest um, but I'm hoping that this is the first time I've ever tried katsu chicken so I'm hoping that it'll be okay. Some of them have been okay, it's just expensive for what you get isn't it? That's what I've, that's the verdict I've got from this, from this range over, over the course of the last couple of months. I was planning on doing 10 days in a row but there were no chance that was going to happen, but I need room in my freezer, so I've got to eat this. And I've got one more after this as well, which is Singapore noodles. So, katsu chicken with rice. Now, it is breaded chicken by the looks of that, so it looks all right. One chilli rating, so I should be I should be safe. I've never had katsu chicken before, I'll be honest. I have seen it just come onto the menu at Weatherspoons, actually, um, at the time of filming, anyway. And it, it looks all right. I think they have katsu chicken curries. This is, doesn't look like a curry curry, but it does have a little curry sauce. We'll, we'll delve into the packet now and uh, and yeah, and get into it. So here it is, the packet. Now, when I bought this, there was an offer of 10 um, like ready meals, meal preps, and a chicken skewers for £45. Now, I know the prices have changed numerous times since then. So... I, um, the advice I give you is just to check it because I don't know how much it actually is right now because I don't know when this video is actually going to go out but nevertheless here it is katsu chicken with rice 531 kilograms per portion low sugar and high in protein you've got 28 grams of protein which is what this brand are offering really isn't it 350 grams which is not a lot of food to be fair it looks like it's got some uh, like seasonal vegetables in there it looks like you've got some sort of peas, some sweet corn, some carrots, breaded chicken rice and like this katsu curry sauce. So, looks all right to be fair. We'll go straight in for the ingredients because there's absolutely boatloads of them. Breaded chicken breast chunks is 31% of this meal, so a third of it is the chicken breast. So usually, Iceland chicken is quite good. Um, so we've got some, uh, it's 60% chicken breast. So obviously the 40% is going to be the outer coating because it is breaded. So we've got wheat, soya, mustard, barley as the allergen, celery as well. Celery. So it's got a little mango chutney in there. That must be the... Um, so we've got baby corn, carrots, onions, edamame beans. Um, cooked jasmine rice is 24%. Looks okay, looks okay. And that is a nutritional information for people that know what they're talking about. I of course do not and they do always give you these warnings that it's not suitable for a low potassium diet that's on every single um, my protein pack so obviously there's a recyclable there you got my protein katsu chicken with rice breaded chicken breast chunks cooked jasmine rice with and a sweet curry sauce topped with edamame beans baby corn and carrot with sugar and sweetener so the cooking instructions is you've got to microwave it because it is like um what they call it meal prep there's no oven cook you've got to just microwave it so break tab remove lid and place loosely back on top place on a microwavable plate cook for four minutes remove lid stir replace lid and cook for a further two minutes so six minutes in total so let's get it open now this has been in my freezer for quite a while so i might have to tear this because it's just yeah it's just tearing there look it won't come off if not destroy it i haven't got a thumbnail i don't think hold on these are the best things about it i did have one break but this one looks to be intact so i will be reusing this carton and there's the food you can't really see it because of the frozen the condensation is it condensation what is it might not be condensation plenty of curry sauce jasmine rice right we've got to break the tab pretty hard like I say it has been in the freezer for quite a while it's actually stuck now pop the lid off and then loosely back on so we can get to see it actually there we go so you get what look like little chicken nuggets or not so little chicken nuggets and then obviously the sauce is all frozen and looks like plenty of chicken probably about 36 percent <laughs> Right, let's get it in the microwave. Come back when it's time to stir. So it's been in for four minutes, and that is what it looks like now. So let's uh, 
Yeah, that's what I was worried about. The breaded chicken is kind of soft. It's going to lost its crispiness. So we give it a stir. It's still frozen, actually, the sauce. We're going to move this rice about. Give it a stir. How do you get that breaded chicken to be crispy when it's your only option is to microwave cook it? Maybe could have removed it, crisp it up in the air fryer or something. Now for the last five minutes or whatnot, because it's obviously pre-cooked, so. What do you reckon, would that have been a good idea? It's got to go back in now for another two minutes. So it's got about 10, 15 seconds left and I just wanted to thank everybody for watching this uh, video. I know that these my protein ones are not for everybody. They're a bit specialist out there, maybe gym goers. Um, but if you got this far, thank you very much and uh, thank you for everyone who likes and comments and lets me know the, what they think about all these meals and really does mean everything to me. Over 4,000 of us now, absolutely fantastic. What a community. I love it. Right, let's have a taste. So there it is, fresh out of the microwave. Now, it looks okay. Smells a bit like um, chip shop curry. And now, like I say, I've never had katsu curry, but that's, what, that's the vibe I get from it. There's only one way to get it out of this tub. Obviously, you can eat it from this tub, and that's kind of how they expect you to, like with it being meal prep and things, but I'm a civilised man. <laughs> there we go. Wow. It smells so much like chip shop curry. Bit like when you get a, a spicier Chinese style chip shop curry. That's the vibe I'm getting from the smell. So. Let's have a taste. So yeah, like I said there, the, 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 the smell just smells like a, like a Chinese style curry, but from a chip shop. So. That's probably what it is and probably sounding stupid but so i've cut that the biggest um breaded chicken up it has hardened up a little bit there's a peel in there it has um firmed up a little bit but it's still not crispy it's still it doesn't look like nice chicken breast chunks in there so but i don't think the outlet is going to be crispy it, it, it feels soft and soggy but that's what you get when you microwave it i suppose but there were no other option so here goes The chicken breast is nice, the, the outer coating is just ruined. The bread, the breaded coating is just soft and soggy. It's not it's not the best way to cook, I don't think. <clears throat> so I'm gonna get some of this rice and veggies and all on a fork there, look at that. And this katsu curry sauce. It's chip shop curry. The chicken inside, the actual chicken is really nice. It's just a shame that that outer coating is not, not crisp enough. The rice. Nice, soft, fluffy. The veggies, the baby corn and the carrots and peas give it a bit of crunch. The edamame peas or whatever they are, edamame beans. And um, yeah, that sauce is just a bit like a curry sauce, like a chip shop curry. It's got a little bit of a kick. One spice rate is probably sufficient. Just a shame about that chicken, although the actual chicken is really, really nice. Just a shame it's not crispy on the outside. Maybe I could have separated it and banged it in the air fryer for a little five minute or two minutes or something like that. It's a shame. It's not the worst my protein one and it's not the best. It's right down the middle, about six, six out of ten I'd give it. It's not bad. There's not a lot of it, 350 grams. Probably not worth the money unless they're putting it in like a... A superb offer of five for five pound or something like that however if you're looking to get 28 grams of protein in one quick meal snack effectively this could be it thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next one Special. Wouldn't buy that again.